to another video. I missed last week with posting. I know I am working on a few um, sponsored content videos. Um, so those take a little bit longer to post um, because they have to be approved. They have to be sent off and everything like that. So that's why a few of those videos are taking some time. But today, as you can tell by this wild hair, I'm going to be dyeing my tips blonde and I wanted to start off on messy hair. So I skipped wash day because I'm gonna be washing and really deep conditioning after we do that. So first, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe down below. We are trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of August, and I would love for you to be a part of the family. So subscribe, like, comment, share, and we are going to hop right into it. All right, guys. So I have put on my um, sports bra because I don't want to ruin any clothes. I'm going to be taking this developer right here. It's pretty much I'm a lightener. So I'm gonna be mixing it with the extra strength powder lightener by the same brand. I got these at my local beauty supply store. Of the lightener in here. I'm gonna put a decent amount in here. And then I'm gonna add the powder into here as well. You really wanna make this as strong as possible and I'm not gonna really need extra, so. Just gonna add all this in here my hair the way i want it to be i'm gonna do like um half up half down kind of situation here because i don't want to dye the bottom of my ends so i'm just gonna do a loose ponytail so i'm working in sections Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave this in for about 30 minutes and then I will be back and we will see how it is developing in my hair. Okay guys, now that I have washed out the developer and it dried, I put in, um, I put it back in a pineapple because I'm going to add the bleach now. Um, the lightener was really just so I wouldn't have to put the bleach in as long and just so I could get like a good stamp of how I wanted my hair to look and how I wanted my ends to be. So now I'm gonna add the bleach. This is the L'Oreal Ice Blue Bleach. I also wanted like different tones to my hair. So that's why I did like brown and then um, blonde because I wanted kind of different tones. I think one scoop, um, this actually comes with a scooper. So that's good. And it's just one full scoop, nothing too crazy like one full scoop um and then some cream and then we're gonna mix it so now that bleach is on you can see what it is looking like I'm gonna leave this in for about 30 minutes and then I will be back to show you guys how it looks all completed and washed out. All right, you guys, so we are fully done. I just washed and diffused like normal and I picked out some areas of my hair. Overall, honestly, I think this came out exactly the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I probably will go in a month from now and do another treatment of um, the bleach 
just to lighten it just to lighten the beauty a little bit just a, a wee bit more um but i also know that doing too much bleach at one sitting is really bad for your curl pattern and it will just start to really break that curl pattern down so in order to avoid that you'll probably have to go back in um to like maybe a month from now and um, do just one more treatment it's not it's like 45 minutes just do one more treatment to get that pattern that that curl color that you really want but overall I really love the way this came out I know it's also gonna get brighter um, the more that I'm in the Sun and the more that it's touched with some um, different conditioners, color treated conditioners. That's what I use in the shower today. So if you guys want some updated routines on how to manage like color treated curls and keeping them hydrated and taking care of them, comment down below, let me know, message me, whatever. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe down below and I will catch you guys in my next one.